again folks, this is Wayne Art, back with another lesson, and I know Wayne's classic today, roll with it. Um, absolutely love this song, I think Noel sort of dished it sort of recently, you know, as Liam started doing it on his tours, but I, I think it's a great song, it was a great single for Oasis, famous in the, in the obviously the chart battle with Blur. Uh, I was always on the Oasis, in the Oasis camp, uh, and this should have got to number one, but as they said in history, you know, uh, Blur won the battle, but Oasis ended up winning the war, you know, obviously with the, with the Morning Glory al album and everything like that, so uh, uh, fairly easy one to place, uh, if you're, you know, an Oasis fan, it's a lot of the Noel S chords, so uh, without further ado, Let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, and the first thing we need to do is this little intro part. So we're going to start with a D7. And then the next chord is, is quite an unusual way to do a C add 9. So if you do a regular C add 9 chord, what we're going to do, we're going to move the third finger to the third fret on the G, and the little pinky is going to go on the third fret on the B string. And we're not going to play either of the, so the top or low E string, we're just going to play the Obviously the middle four strings, the A, the D, the G and the B string. Okay, so it's down as a C add 9 chord, but uh, it's just an un unusual way to play. And then we're going to go to a G for two bars, where we'd strum that. So we've got the D7, the unusual C add 9, and then the G. Okay, it does that twice, and on the third time we've got the D7, the unusual C R 9, and this time we're going to go to an A. You gotta roll with, and then we're into the uh, the chorus, okay? Uh, now it's nice on that A chord at the end of that sort of intro section to do this little embellishment, which I did in the intro, which we go for A, A sus 2 by taking the third finger off, back to an A, and then an A sus 4, so that's just moving the third finger to the third fret on the B string, Back to the A, and then an A sus 2, back to the A again, so we get this. You got her, and then in, into the uh, the opening chorus. Okay, so I just think it's nice to add that in, it sort of adds that, that sort of little, you know, bass line and everything in that little melody. Okay, so uh, the chorus will be a G. Now you notice all the way, the G that I'm using all the way through the song is the typical Noel G, which is the four-fingered one, okay, so that's... That's going to carry on all the way through the song. So we've got, you got to roll with it, you got to take your time, you got to say what you say, don't let anybody get in you. Okay, and at this point, we're going to go to a C sus 2 chord. So we're going to keep the two fingers where they are, and we're going to put the second finger, and that will be on the third fret on the A string. That's going to be a C sus 2. Then we're going to go to a, a G slash B, so that's just putting the first finger on the second fret on the A. And then moving that first finger down to the second fret on the D, that's going to be an A7 sus4. And then we go back to a G again. So I'll just sing that first chorus through. So you gotta roll with it, you take your time. I say you want to say, you don't let anybody get in your way. Cause it's all too much for me to take. Okay, so that's going to repeat. Don't ever stand aside, don't ever be denied. You wanna be who you be if you come in with me. So that bit is gonna repeat three times, so I think I've got a feeling I've got stay inside. I think I'm gonna take me away. And on the third time you're gonna go C sus 2, G slash B, and then a D, and then back to the G again. Okay, let me go into the bridge, which is an F chord. Now, it's all to you what F you do. You could do the bard F if you wanted to. You could even do, you know, a, a, a regular F major 7 chord. But the F that I use, I use it in a lot of my videos, is the F major 7 with a C bass in. So if you take a regular F major 7 chord, you're just going to move the 3rd finger to the 3rd fret on the A string, and the little pinky is going to go on the 3rd fret on the D. Okay, so it's going to go, the bridge is that F to a G. So I'll just sing that through so you can see how that sort of gels together. So I know the roads down which your life will die. I found the key that lets you slip inside. Kiss the girl, she's not behind the door. 
I'm on the fourth line of that chorus, we're gonna go to the F again. Recognize you. Then we go with C. Never seen you be. Then we get the D. So you can either hang on the D chord there, or again, I think it's nice to have this little embellishment in. So that's a, a D. We're gonna go to that C sus two. G slash B. Back to the C sus two, and then the D again. So we get this. You got it. And then we're back into the chorus. Roll with it. You gotta take your time, you gotta say what to say, don't let anybody get in your way. Cause it's all too much for me to take. Okay, so the chorus is, you know, pretty much the same as the chorus, so I'll just play that through. So you're gonna have a G, four bars. C sus 2, G slash B, A7 sus 4, that repeats. And the third time we got that D, back to G. Then it's going to do the bridge part again. That's with the you know the F to the G section, uh, and then it's just going to finish off with another chorus. So the only the only difference is at the end of the last chorus. So don't ever stand aside. Don't ever be denied. You're gonna be who you be if you come. It's going to repeat this. You know, C sus two. G slash B and the A7 sus4 section all the way to the end of the song. So it's going to go. Think you got a feeling I've lost inside. I think you got a feeling I've lost inside. I think you got a feeling of lost inside. I think you got a feeling of lost inside. Take me away. Take me away. And then you finish on a G. Okay, so that is pretty much uh, your meat and potatoes of the song. That's all the chords and all the structure that you're going to need. So that just leaves us with a strumming pattern. Um, so obviously we've got the intro. So we strum the D7. Up, down, up. We've got that C add 9. Down, down, up, down, up. So the main pattern I use once we get into the chords and the strumming is a down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we're down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, it takes a bit of practice at putting that through the chords, but if you can keep that consistent, I think it, you know it works really well with the song. And that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you all dug that. Uh, you can't beat a bit of classic Oasis, and you know I, I think that is definitely up there. Re really great fond memories of that song, and it's a pretty easy one to play as well. So great song. So I hope you all dug that. If you got any other requests for any other Oasis songs. I've done quite a lot of them, but if, if there's any obvious ones that I haven't done, or not just Oasis, um, you know, anything 60s to modern day that's going to work well on an acoustic guitar, uh, you know the drill now, you can either comment in the post below, or a good way to reach me these days if you want to reach me on social media, so I'm Wayne R Guitar on Facebook, Twitter, and now also Instagram, and that way you can ping me a personal message over, which I do always reply to messages, so... Um, you just got to respect to get hundreds of requests, so we do sort of hem pit them a little bit. Uh, so it might take a while to get round to doing the requests, but please do keep them coming because that's what keeps this channel going. Uh, thanks everyone who's subscribed. Thanks for the continued support. I really, really appreciate it as always. You could do me a huge favour by spreading the word. You know, word of mouth is a powerful thing. So if you know anyone else who plays a guitar or has just started, it'd be good to sort of point them in my direction because obviously. Um, I try and keep my uh, lessons straight to the point and down to earth. Um, that's my aim anyway, so I hope I do put that across. Um, so another thing you could do if you are subscribed, you could do me a huge favour and hit that little notification bell down there so you get notified every time I post a video, which is either once or twice a week these, these days, so uh, you can get on top of it straight away. So that just leaves me to say have a great morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching, and I'll catch you all for lesson very soon. Take care.